welcome to my channel this is Rashmi and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little lamb for this tutorial I'm going to be using Aran cotton blend yarn which I'm going to be working with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook we're going to start off by making legs first and for this grab hold of your yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer once you have this put your crochet in there and work chain two to do this you're going to yarn over pull through the loop once yarn over and pull through the loop second time now we are going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook so let's slip our crochet in there like this yarn over pull up a loop we have two loops on our crochet yarn over pull through both in one go now that's my first single crochet I'm going to work six all together in this space Here's my sixth one. There we go. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end to tighten the gap between your stitches. And now we're going to start round two. Now at this current stage, you should have six stitches all around here. And we are going to work an increase in every single one of these for my second round. To do this, you're going to slip your crochet in the first single crochet of this round, as we're going to be working in a spiral throughout. So once you slip your crochet in, pull up a loop from there and yarn over and pull through both. That's my first single crochet off round two. We're now going to go back into that same stitch and work another single crochet in the same space. There we go. So that is an increase. So each time when I say increase, we are working two single crochets in the same stitch. Now let's go ahead and work two single crochets in every single one of these stitches all the way around There we go. Once you have your 12 single crochets, that would mean you've worked all the way around and you're at the beginning again. Now we're going to start the next round and for this you're going to work a single crochet in the first stitch over. Here we go. Now from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker like this one to identify the start of each round. If you don't have a stitch marker, feel free to just pull up a yarn, a scrap bit of yarn through this, or you might want to use a paper clip or a hairpin. Everything works really. So as long as you're able to identify the start of each round. Now from here, you're going to follow this on with an increase, which means again, two single crochets in the same stitch like this. Now I'm going to complete this round by working a single crochet follows on with an increase single crochet and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches we're now going to start the next round by working two single crochets in a row here's my first and here's my second let's now go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place now those two single crochets are going to be followed on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch and just like this, you're going to finish this whole round by working two single crochets in a row, followed by an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch like this. And I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat it three times to have three rounds of just single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to start the next round by working a decrease. Now to do this, you're going to put your crochet stick in there, next stitch, pull up a loop, and do the same with the stitch after that and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your crochet like this yarn over and pull through all three of these loops in one go now this creates a decrease because it's reducing two stitches into one 
Now we're going to follow this on with 10 single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and here's my tenth one once you have your ten single crochets in a row you're going to work another decrease let's go through this together one more time so you stick your crochet in the next stitch pull up a loop do the same with the stitch after that and pull up a loop three loops on your crochet we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of them in one go and now you should have 10 stitches left and you're going to finish this round by working those 10 single crochets in a row at the end of this round your stitch count should be 22. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we are going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around so go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should still be 22. we're now going to start the next round by working a decrease in the first two stitches so put your crochet in the next stitch pull up a loop do the same with the stitch after that and pull up a loop three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we are going to follow this decrease on with nine single crochets so nine single crochets in a row and then you're going to repeat this combination one more time to complete this round so after nine single crochets you work another decrease and complete the round with nine single crochets at the end of this round you should have a total of 20 stitches we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should still be 20. we're now going to start the next round by working another decrease so let's pull up a loop from the first stitch and the stitch after that yarn over pull through all three stitches in one go and we're going to put our stitch marker in place here and we're going to follow this decrease on with eight single crochets this time so let's go ahead and do that that's one two three four five six seven and last one eight and we're going to follow this on with the same combination again so a decrease in the next stitch like this and complete this round with eight more single crochets in a row at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. we're going to start off the next round by working a single crochet in the next stitch and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should still be 18. we're now going to start the next round by working a decrease in the next two stitches like this so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and this time we are going to work seven single crochets in a row and we're going to follow that on with another decrease and complete this round with seven more single crochet at the end of this round your stitch count should be 16. we're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in the first stitch and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat this same process 11 times to get 11 rounds of just single crochet at the end of 11 rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 16. at this point you're going to take a moment to fill this leg up with some fiber fill i've already gone ahead and done that 
Once you've done this, we are going to start the next round. Now for this round, we are going to work a decrease to begin with. So pull up a loop from the first and the second stitch. Three loops on your crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops in one go. Now we are going to follow this on with six single crochets. Here's my first, let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. After this you're going to work a decrease. So pull up a loop again from the next two stitches, three loops on your crochet, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. We're now going to finish this round up with six more single crochets. There's my first one. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth and my sixth one there we go now at the end of this round you should have a total of 14 stitches we're now going to take the stitch marker off and work my final round so what we're going to do is at this point we're going to squeeze our work together the top part of this leg just to make sure that the front and the back stitches are together like this i'm going to chain one and we're going to slip our crochet in the front stitch the next stitch that we've just finished with and the one at the back like this so if i pull these apart you will see that i've made my crochet go through the front and the back of these stitches i'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through both so we are going to follow the same method and work six seven single crochets across the top here so push your crochet in from the front and the back at the same time yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that's my second single crochet third fourth fifth and here's my sixth one after you've worked your six single crochets across the top you're going to chain one and we're now going to go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail and pull this out of the stitch let's pull this down and that completes the leg of this lamb so you can follow the same instructions and make one more of these and meet me back here we're now going to work on the arms and for this again you're going to start off with a slip knot you can always go ahead and make a magic circle if you wish to work with that uh, or you can stick with this method yarn over pull through the loop or yarn over pull through the loop to make two chains we have now got two chains we are going to skip the first chain and we're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from the hook so let's slip our crochet in the second chain from our hook yarn over pull up a loop two loops on a crochet yarn over pull through both in one go that's my first single crochet we're going to work six of them all together in the same stitch there's my third, fourth, fifth and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And we're now going to start the next round. So to begin round two, you're going to slip your crochet in the first single crochet of your previous round. And we're going to work a single crochet in there. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet off round two. Going back into that same stitch, going to work another single crochet to work an increase in the first stitch. Just like this, we're going to work an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So we had six stitches uh, in total and we're going to work six increases. Here's my second increase. third increase fourth increase fifth and 
and my final sixth one. So let's go ahead and work two more single crochets in there. There we go. Now we're going to start the next round and to do this you're going to work a single crochet in the first stitch here and we're going to follow that on with an increase in the next stitch over. So we're going to have two single crochets in the next stitch. That's one and two. Now from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. So I'm going to put that in the first single crochet of this round. Now we can go ahead and finish this round by following the same repeat. One single crochet, then an increase, a single crochet, followed by an increase. Here's an increase, single crochet, and increase. And now I'm on my last one. One single crochet followed on with an increase, like so. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in the first stitch over. We're going to put our stitch marker back in place. Now from here I'm going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it three times to have three rounds of just single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a decrease in the next two stitches. To do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches like so. Three loops on your crochet, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. We're now going to follow this on with seven single crochets. One, I'm going to quickly put my stitch marker back in place. Two, three, four, five, six, and here's my seventh one. After this, you're going to work another decrease. Now again, to do this, you're going to do the same thing. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, like so. Three loops on your crochet, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Now we should have seven stitches left and we're going to work a single crochet in every single one of them. Here's my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh stitch done. There's my last one, seventh. Now at the end of this round you should have a total of 16 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch here and we're going to go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should still be 16. We're now going to start the next round by working a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your crochet yarn over, pull through all three in one go. We're going to follow this decrease with six single crochets and then we're going to work another decrease and complete this round with six more single crochets. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 14. We're now going to work a single crochet in our first stitch here, like so. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat this 12 times to have 12 rounds of just single crochet. At the end of 12 rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 14. Now at this point you're going to fill this arm up with some fibre fill. I've already gone ahead and done that and after this we're going to start the next round. And this is going to be your final round. So we're going to start by working a chain one and squeeze the top of the arm so that the back and the front stitches are joined together like so. We're 
we're now going to insert our hook in the next stitch like this and make sure that it comes out from the back as well so if I pull these stitches apart you will see that the crochet has gone through the front and the back on these stitches you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's my first single crochet we're going to do the same thing and work six single crochets all together so here's my second Third, fourth, fifth, and my last one, sixth one right here. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to chain one, and we're now going to go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail, which we will be using later to stitch this onto the body. Let's pull this down and that completes your arm. Now follow the same instructions and go ahead and create one more of these. We're now going to start on the head and for this go ahead and with your grey yarn work a slip knot like so. Going to slip our crochet inside and we're going to chain two to begin. Yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. Once you have your two chains, you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Slip your crochet in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both in one go. That's my first single crochet. Let's go ahead and work five more to make the total six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end to close the gap between your stitches. And now that should bring your stitches together. Now to start round two, you're going to slip your crochet in the top of your first single crochet of your previous round. And we're going to work an increase in there. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's my first single crochet. Increase means two single crochets in the same stitch. So here's my second single crochet in the same stitch here. I'm going to follow this on with a increase and increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So we had six stitches in my previous round. So we're going to have six increases. Here's my second increase. Third increase. Fourth increase, fifth increase, and my final one, increase number six. Once you have all these increases in place, this brings you to the end of this round, and you should have a total of 12 stitches. You're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in your next stitch over. And from here, I'm going to use a stitch marker to identify the start of my each round. Here we go. So we're going to follow that single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the next stitch. Here's my first one and second single crochet in that same stitch. Now go ahead and follow the same repetition. One single crochet increase, one single crochet increase to complete this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round and work two single crochets in a row. So here's my first and second. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow these two single crochets on with an increase. So two single crochets in the next stitch. And just like this, go ahead and finish this round off with two single crochets followed on with an increase, two single crochets and increase. At the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches. Now in this round you're going to work three single crochets in a row and then we're going to follow that on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working four single crochets in a row. Here's my second, third, and fourth. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. One, two, three, four. And we need to work an increase in the next stitch. 
So two single crochets in the same stitch here. Just like this, go ahead and finish this round by working four single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, four single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Now from here you're going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it five times to have five rounds of just single crochet. At the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 36. We're now going to start the next round with four single crochets. Make my first one and I'm going to put my stitch marker back in place and let's follow this on with three more to make the total four. And now we're going to follow this on with a decrease. To do this, you're going to stick your crochet in the next stitch, pull up a loop and do the same with the stitch after that. And pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on our crochet. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And that works a decrease. And just like this, we're going to work four single crochets in a row followed on by with a decrease, four single crochets, a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And I'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round you should still have a total of 30 stitches. Now going to work one last round in this grey colour before moving on to the white. So in this round we're going to work three single crochets in a row. Here's my second and third. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. There we go. And we're going to follow those three single crochets on with a decrease. Again to do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your crochet. Yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Just like this, go ahead and follow this repetition. Three single crochet, a decrease. Three single crochet, a decrease again. And complete this round. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to finish off with this grey colour. And to do this, you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch over like this. And we're going to chain one. Now let's go ahead and snip our colour off. And pull this through. The loop that we just created. Now that finishes the muzzle of this sheep and we are now going to join white colour for the fur. So grab hold of your new yarn and you're going to pull this through a few stitches before where you finished off. You can always join it any way you like but I tend to always join it a few stitches before. So pull the new yarn through and give this a little knot in place. Now from here we're going to be working in popcorn stitches. Popcorn stitches are worked with double crochet and each popcorn stitch is going to be made with five double crochets. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you would do that. We're going to stick a crochet in there in the same stitch and we're going to pull up a loop and work chain three. One, two and three. This chain three represents a double crochet at this point. We're going to yarn over, go back into that very same stitch and work four more double crochets. Now to work a double crochet, you're going to yarn over your crochet, go into that space, pull up a loop, three loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through next two. That's my second double crochet right here. We're going to work five of them all together. So yarn over your crochet, back into that same stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on your crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now just like this, go ahead and work five double crochets all together. Once you have your five double crochets, you're going to turn your work around and we're going to locate chain three, which is right here. And we're going to slip stitch in the top chain. Going to put your crochet in the top chain, third chain, here, 
and pull up a loop from there and we're going to make this loop go through your loop that you had on your crochet to work a slip stitch now that makes your first popcorn stitch to start the next one you're going to chain one in between your stitches and we're going to yarn over locate the next stitch which is right here and work five double crochets in there go into that space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over go back into that same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over, yarn over pull through two just like this go ahead and work three more There we go. Once you have your five double crochets, you're going to turn your work around and this time you're going to locate your first double crochet. Now before you had three chains at the beginning, but this time you have a double crochet here. So we're going to slip stitch in the top part of your double crochet. So if I pull these stitches apart, you can see that this is the double crochet and we're going to slip stitch in the top part here. So you slip your crochet in there up a loop and make it go through the loops on your crochet there we go chain one to start the next stitch yarn over and we're going to work we're going to the one that we've just worked our slip stitch in we're going to ignore that one we're going to work a popcorn stitch in the stitch before which is right here and we're going to ignore that stitch and carry on working double uh, crochet uh, popcorn stitches in the stitches further from there so let's just show you how to do this so let's work on this one together so one more popcorn stitch here Once you have your five double crochets, turn your work around, slip stitch in the top part of your popcorn stitch, top part of your double crochet, chain one and start the next one. Now this is where we did our slip stitch to finish off the, with the grey colour. So we're going to leave that stitch and instead we're going to go to the next stitch over. So bringing this closer. This is the stitch where we worked our slip stitch. We're going to ignore that one. We're going straight over to the next one. So yarn over and go into this stitch and work five double crochets to form a popcorn stitch. Turn your work around and you're going to slip stitch in the top part of your first double crochet here we go chain one and again work a popcorn stitch in the next stitch and stitch after that and work it all the way around in every single one of these stitches i'll meet you back here i've now finished my first round of popcorn stitches and there should be 24 of them all together now once you reach the end you're going to locate this chain one space that you created in between all of these stitches so if i pull these two apart you will see this little space right here we're going to put our crochet inside this space pull up a loop and we're going to work a slip stitch by making that loop go through your loop that you had on your crochet now you are working from that space so next round you're going to chain three and work a popcorn stitch in between your stitches here and the next one is going to go in between these stitches so let's show you these two and then i'll leave you to work this round yarn over and work four more double crochets in the same space there we go 
once you have your double crochets you're going to turn your work around and just like the previous round you're going to locate your top part of your chain three so the third chain which is right here you're going to slip stitch in the top of that chain here chain one and we're going to turn our work back around pull these two stitches apart and work the next popcorn stitch between here again to do this you're going to work five double crochets this time and we're going to turn our work around and slip stitch in the top part of your double crochet the very first one here we go and once you've done this just like this chain one and keep continuing with the same process to work a popcorn stitch in between each of these stitches all the way around and you will see that you can work 24 of them in the second round as well and again we're going to repeat the same process one more time so you have three rounds of just popcorn stitches I've now finished working my second round of popcorn stitches as well. Now as we've been working in between these stitches, we would have only worked 23 popcorn stitches at this point. We want to keep the stitch count to 24, so we are going to now work one more popcorn stitch in the last space here. So you already have a popcorn stitch, but we're going to work an increase, which is another popcorn stitch within the same space here. So let's go ahead and work five double crochets there one two three four and five Now we're going to turn our work around and slip stitch in the top part of our first double crochet like this. Now that brings our stitch count to 24. Now we're going to start the next round and if you pull the first stitch apart you'll see the space again. We're going to slip stitch in that space, chain three. And now we are going to work a popcorn stitch in every single one of these gaps one more time. Your stitch count should still be 24 by the end of this round. I've now worked my three rounds of popcorn stitches and my stitch count is still 24. We're now going to close this round off by working a slip stitch in the next space that we've got in between our popcorn stitches. Pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through your crochet, uh, the loop on your crochet like this. Now we're going to chain three, which will be our first double crochet of this popcorn stitch that we're going to create in this space. Let's go ahead and follow this on with four double crochets. Here's my first, second, third, and fourth one. And we're going to now turn our work around and work a slip stitch in the third chain. So slip a crochet in the third chain, pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through the loop that you had on your crochet. And that's my first popcorn stitch of this round. Now in this round we're going to be working decreases. That means we're going to reduce the number of stitches that we have um, a few numbers at a time. So I'll show you exactly what to do for this. So that's my first popcorn stitch. I'm going to follow this on with another popcorn stitch in here. So let's go ahead and work that with five double crochets in that same space. And now we're going to turn our work around and slip stitch in the top part of our first double crochet of this cluster. Now in the next two stitches we are going to work one popcorn stitch. Now to do this you're going to work three double crochets, three double crochets and then we're going to combine them two together to make a popcorn stitch. So let's chain one between the stitches, yarn over 
and work three double crochets in this space. Here's one, two, three, and we're going to go straight to the next one and work three more double crochets. Two and three. Once you have your six double crochets, you're going to turn your work around and we're going to work a slip stitch in the first double crochet. So the top part of our first double crochet like this. Now that creates a decrease. Now you're going to follow this same method and we're going to work a popcorn stitch, a popcorn stitch followed on with another decrease in two stitches. Popcorn stitch, popcorn stitch, another decrease. And we're going to repeat this combination all the way around. We're now at the end of this round and we are going to work our last and final decrease and to do this you're going to work three double crochet in first space and three double crochets in the last space that we've got here And then we're going to turn our work around and slip stitch in the top part of our first double crochet. Now chain one and we are going to slip stitch in between the space between these two popcorn stitches. So slip your crochet in, pull up a loop and slip stitch right there. Now that brings our stitch count to 18. Now from here you're going to chain three again and we are going to work one popcorn stitch followed by a decrease. So we're going to work the same method around these two stitches. So let's work just one part together. So let's go ahead and work one popcorn stitch first. So chain three followed on by four double crochets. Turn your work around and slip stitch in the top part of your chain three, which is the third chain. Slip your crochet in there, pull up a loop, you can go through the loop on your crochet and chain one between the stitches. Now we're going to work a decrease around the next two stitches. Now to do this, you're going to pull the space apart so you can see the space in between. Now we're going to work three single uh, double crochets in between those two spaces so that's my first space so three double crochets around here and I'm going to do the same around the next space between my popcorn stitches is my next three double crochets and once we've done that turn your work around and slip stitch in the first double crochet off your stitch of this cluster now that works a decrease and just like this you're going to follow this on with one popcorn stitch followed on with another decrease a popcorn stitch and a decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 12 and before we start the next round we are going to fill this up with some fiber fill so go ahead and do that and meet me back here I've now gone ahead and filled this head up with some fiber fill. Now we're going to start the next round and to do this you're going to slip stitch in the first space right here. So slip your crochet in there, pull up a loop and pull this through the loop that you had on your crochet. Now to start the next round or the final round we're going to chain three. This is going to be considered as your first double crochet. We're now going to follow this on with two more double crochets. So stick your crochet in that same space again and work two double crochets. And we're now going to do the same in the next space here. So this time we're going to work three double crochets around that space. So yarn over, go into that space. And there's my first double crochet. and here's my third double crochet now we're going to turn our work around 
and this time I'm going to slip stitch in the top part of our chain three. Here we go. So it's my ch third chain basically. Slip stitch from there like this. And that makes our first decrease. Now we're going to follow this on with a decrease in every single one of these stitches. So we had our stitch count to 12. This should bring our stitch count to six. We should have six decreases all around. I've now finished my last popcorn stitch and all together we have our six right around here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we are going to finish this round off by working a slip stitch around the next space right here and we're going to chain one we're going to snip this yarn off leaving a long tail and pull this out of the stitch later on we will be using a darning needle and we are going to close this gap up by stitching it together and that completes the head of this sheet we're now going to work on the body and for this you're going to start by working a magic circle. So we're going to take the yarn in our hand and wrap the yarn around our two fingers making an X at the base like this. Turn them over and this is the side we're working with. Let's take our crochet, we're going to put it under the first one and pull up a loop using the second. Now we're going to pick this bit of yarn from here and make it go through the loop on your crochet. And this makes your magic circle. Now I can just take this bit of yarn out from there and let's start our first round. Now for our first round we're going to start by working chain three. There's one, two and three. Now we're going to be forming popcorn stitches in this space. So this chain three is going to be considered as my first double crochet of this round. And I'm going to work four more to make the total five. So let's yarn over, go into this circle, pull up a loop, three loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Let's do this again, yarn over, go back into this circle, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's my two double crochets. We're going to work five all together. Now I have my four double crochets and this chain three, which is also considered as double crochet. I'm now going to put them together like this, turn my work around, and I'm now going to locate my third chain. So here's first, second, and there's my third chain right on the top. We are going to slip stitch in the top part of this chain. By pulling up a loop from there and making it go through the loop on your crochet. Now that makes my first popcorn stitch. At this point it might be a little bit fiddly, however, it does get better when we tighten by pulling on this end in a minute. So chain one, and we're going to yarn over and work five more popcorn stitches in this space to make the total to six. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. Once you have your six popcorn stitches, you're going to pull on this end to bring your stitches together. So let's go and bring it nice and tight and that will eliminate the gap between your stitches. There we go. Now to complete this round, you're going to chain one and slip stitch on top of your um, popcorn stitches. So in between these two popcorn stitches where we had a chain one space, you will see that there is a little space right here. We're going to slip our crochet inside this space, pull up a loop and pull this through the loop that we had on our crochet. Now that completes your first round. Now to start the next round, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and we are going to work a popcorn stitch between each of these popcorn stitches. So let's show you the first one. So if I pull these stitches apart, you will see that there is a space in between, and we are going to work two popcorn stitches in each of these spaces. So right here, I'm going to work two popcorn stitches. The next one, if you pull it apart, you will see that there is a space right there. We will work two more popcorn stitches here and just like this we will complete this round by working two popcorn stitches between each of these popcorn stitches from our previous round. At the end of this round you should have a total of 12 popcorn stitches. We're now going to start the next round. Let's chain one and we're going to slip stitch in between these two popcorn stitches. So the first and second one of this round. Pull up a loop and 
and work a slip stitch. Now we're going to start the next round by working chain three and we're going to work a one popcorn stitch in this space. So just one popcorn stitch. So chain three followed on with four double crochets. Here's my second, third and fourth. Now we're going to work a slip stitch on top of our chain three. So third chain. Like this. And chain one to move from one stitch to another. Now in the next space here, we're going to work an increase, which means two popcorn stitches in the same space. So for this round, to complete this round, we're going to follow this repetition. One popcorn stitch followed by an increase, a popcorn stitch followed by an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, we are going to finish off by working a slip stitch in between our first and second popcorn of this round. So pull them apart and you're going to put your crochet in between this chain one space pull up a loop and make this loop go through your first loop on your crochet and now again we're going to chain three to start the next round now from here you're going to work another increase so we're going to start off by working a popcorn stitch then we're going to move these two stitches apart and work another popcorn stitch and we're going to follow this on with an increase so for this round you're going to work two popcorn stitches in a row one popcorn stitch one popcorn stitch followed on with an increase and we're going to repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24 we are going to finish off with this round by working a slip stitch between your first and second popcorn stitch and now we're going to start the next round and for this you're going to chain three and let's go ahead and work a popcorn stitch in this space so chain three gets followed by four double crochets there's my second third and fourth after four double crochets you're going to slip stitch on the top part of your chain three and chain one to move between your stitches in the next space here again we're going to work another popcorn stitch so five double crochets all together four and five and we're going to turn our work around and slip stitch in the top part of our first double crochet. Now just like this we're going to chain one and work another popcorn stitch in the next stitch over and then we're going to follow that on with an increase. So for this round you're going to have three popcorn stitches in a row followed on with an increase, three popcorn stitches and increase all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 30 popcorn stitches we're now going to work a slip stitch between your first and second popcorn stitch so this chain one space so let's put our crochet in there pull up a loop make this loop go through the loop on our crochet now to start the next round you're going to chain three and follow this on with four double crochet to make your first popcorn stitch in here we're going to follow that on with three more popcorn stitches in a row so all together we are going to have four popcorn stitches and then we're going to follow that on with an increase and we're going to repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 popcorn stitches we're now going to finish this round off with a slip stitch in our first chain one space and to start the next round we're going to chain three now this is where we are going to make our first popcorn stitch of this round now this chain three is going to be followed on with four double crochets so here's my first one second third and fourth going to turn it around and we're going to slip stitch in the top part of our chain three which is the third chain so slip your crochet in the third chain 
pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop on your crochet. Now that makes your first popcorn stitch. From here you're going to follow this on with a popcorn stitch in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So in between each of these spaces you're going to work a popcorn stitch and you're going to repeat that four times to have just four rounds of popcorn stitches on their own. No increases, no decreases, just popcorn stitches. At the end of four rounds of popcorn stitches, your stitch count should still be 30. We're now going to slip stitch in between your first and second popcorn stitch of this round, like this. And that completes our round. Now we're going to start the next round by working chain three. And this is going to be followed on with four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to make a popcorn stitch with this, so turn your work around and slip stitch in the third chain here. So slip your crochet in there. Pull up a loop and make this loop go through your loop on your crochet. And now we're going to follow this on with three more popcorn stitches to make the total count to four. So now you're gonna have to make five double crochets this time in this space. Once you have your five double crochets, turn your work around again, slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet of this group of double crochets. Here we go, just like this, we're going to chain one in between stitches, go to the next one, five double crochets again. There we go, and slip stitch in the first double crochet of this group. Chain one, and our last popcorn stitch here now. Here we are, five double crochets again, slip stitch. And now, once you have your four popcorn stitches in a row, we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. Now, to do this, you're going to chain one between stitches, yarn over, and work three double crochets in this space first. One, two, and three. And now I'm going to do exactly the same in the next space here, but without chaining one. So we're not going to chain anything, and we're going straight into the next space and work three double crochets. Right, once you have your six double crochets in a row, you're going to turn your work around, and we're going to slip stitch in our first double crochet like this. And now we've just worked our first decrease of this round. So when we say decrease, we're basically working one popcorn stitch between two stitches, which reduces the number of stitches in this particular round. So now from here, you can follow on this, we follow this on with four popcorn stitches and then a decrease, four popcorn stitches and decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to slip stitch in our first space here between your first and second popcorn stitch. And we're going to start the next round by chaining three and working a popcorn stitch in between every single space that you can see all the way around. At the end of this round, you should still have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to finish off with this round by working a slip stitch in our chain one space between round one and round two. Now from here you are going to work three popcorn stitches followed by a decrease. So let's go ahead and do that together. So chain three and we're going to make four double crochets in that space to make our first popcorn stitch. And 
turn our work around and slip stitch in our third chain, which is right here. Now chain one between stitches and let's go ahead and work in two more popcorn stitches. Now this time around we will have five double crochets. Slip stitch, chain one, and one more popcorn stitch here. And now chain one and let's work a decrease in the next two stitches. To work a decrease, you're going to work three double crochets here and three double crochets in the stitch after that. So let's go ahead and work our one, two, and three double crochets in our first stitch. And three in the second space here. And once we have worked this, you're going to turn your work around and slip stitch in our first, the top part of our first double crochet to complete a decrease like this. And we're going to follow this on with three popcorn stitches and then a decrease, pull three popcorn stitches and a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to work a slip stitch in our first stitch over chain three and we're now going to make a popcorn stitch between every single one of these spaces so go ahead and do that and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count is still 24 let's work a slip stitch around our chain one space here and let's chain three to start the next round now in this round we're going to have two popcorn stitches in a row and then we're going to work a decrease in the, around the next two spaces. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So two popcorn stitches followed on with a decrease and repeat it all the way around. At the end of this round, I have a total of 18 stitches. Now I'm going to work a slip stitch around the first stitch, chain three. And let's go ahead and work a popcorn stitch between every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to work a slip stitch between our first and second popcorn. And from here, before we start the last round, go ahead and fill this up with some fiber fill. And then we are going to close this top part off by working six decreases. Now to do this, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then work two double crochets in the same space as one and two and from there we're going to go to the next stitch and work three double crochets in that space one two and three and after this you're going to turn your work around and slip stitch in the top part of your chain three so third chain now once you've done this, that would create your first popcorn stitch and just like this you're going to work a decrease in every single one of these stitches. You should have a total of six by the end of it. At the end of this round with six popcorn stitches, we are going to cast off our work and finish off with the body. Now to do this you're going to slip stitch in between your first and second popcorn stitch and we're going to chain one here and we're going to Go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull it out of the stitch, pull this stitch down. Now we've got this little tail and we can use this to stitch the body and the head together. We're now going to work on the tail and for this you're going to start by making a magic circle. So we're going to take the yarn in our hand and wrap the yarn around our two fingers making an X at the base like this. 
turn them over and this is the side we're working with let's take our crochet we're going to put it under the first one and pull up a loop using the second now we're going to pick this bit of yarn from here and make it go through the loop on your crochet and this makes your magic circle now I can just take this bit of yarn out from there and let's start our first round now for our first round we're going to start by working chain three here's one two and three now we're going to be forming popcorn stitches in this space so this chain three is going to be considered as my first double crochet of this round and i'm going to work four more to make the total five so let's yarn over go into this circle pull up a loop three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two let's do this again yarn over go back into this circle yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two that's my two double crochets we're going to work five all together now i have my four double crochets and this chain three which is also considered as double crochet i'm now going to put them together like this turn my work around and I'm now going to locate my third chain so here's first second and there's my third chain right on the top we are going to slip stitch in the top part of this chain by pulling up a loop from there and making it go through the loop on our crochet now that makes my first popcorn stitch now you're going to work five more popcorn stitches in this space to make the total to six so go ahead and do that and meet me back here once you have your six popcorn stitches you're going to pull on this end to close the gap between the stitches and bring them closer together so slowly pull these pull this in um, this will bring your stitches together like so and we're going to close this round off by working a slip stitch between your first and second popcorn stitch so the chain one space between those two stitches so i'm going to stick my crochet in there yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through the loop on your crochet and i'm going to chain three and we are going to now work a popcorn stitch in between each of these stitches so this space that we've got here the chain one space between the stitches is where we're going to work now so four more double crochets in this space that's one two three four and you should have a total of five double crochets here one two three four five yep once you have that you're going to turn your work around you're going to slip stitch in the top part of your chain three which is our first double crochet pull up a loop make this loop go through your loop on your crochet and that makes my first stitch in my round two so in this round we're going to have one popcorn stitch between each of these spaces so go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of this round you should have a total of six stitches again so one two three four five six there we go and we're going to slip stitch between our first and second popcorn stitch again so you go into that space that chain one space and work a slip stitch now we're going to work one more round of just popcorn stitches and that will complete your tail so go ahead and work one more round of just popcorn stitches at the end of this round stitch count is still six and we're going to finish off by working a slip stitch again between our first and second popcorn stitch of this round and now you're going to chain one and let's go ahead and snip this yarn and pull it out of this stitch I'm going to pull this down and we can now use this to stitch this tail onto the body now onto the assembly and before we join the head and the body together we're going to finish off with the face so we're going to make a little nose here and also get rid of this gap if you have this appearing between your stitches so let's deal with that first so go ahead and thread your yarn into your darning needle and now from here you're going to thread um, use your needle and go through um, the end of each of these popcorn stitches so just around the top right here 
I'm going to catch each of these stitches up the top like so. A second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And my final one, number six. Once you made your way all the way around, you're going to pull this out. And now because we've gone on the top of these stitches, we should be able to pull it in and this should close the gap perfectly. Now I'm going to secure this in place by inserting my needle into the first popcorn stitch again to complete the loop. And we are going to secure this thread in finally here. So we are going to go around any of these loops that you have here or any stitch just isolating a little part of the stitch and you're going to create a loop with that like this and we're going to put our needle through this and pull this down now this creates a knot in place and this should secure your thread in place and it's not going to come out just for security purposes i'm going to work one more so i'm just going to make my way across the other side so we don't have a massive bulk here and i'm going to repeat the process one more time so isolate one of the stitches like this and create a loop get your needle to go through the loop and pull it down so this creates a knot in place now once you've done this you're going to put your needle into the center and we're going to let it come out from another side of this popcorn stitch head like this and we're going to snip the yarn off now because we are done with this and this should um, the thread should go in and this should complete the head and get rid of the gap for you as well now onto the nose so let's go ahead use your darning needle again and thread your darning needle with black yarn I now have my black yarn and make sure that the knot that you make is big enough so it stays behind these stitches. So now to trace out the nose, where exactly do we want it? So we need to decide that first. So I'm going to have a Y shape right in the front. Some people prefer to do this with a pin, which is totally fine. So you may want to use some sewing pins and I'll show you how you might do that. So I'm gonna take a pin and you insert it in place to show exactly where you're going to have the yarn coming out from. So here we go. And my bottom of my um, Y shape is going to go around this. Now with your thread, you're going to insert this thread inside this center and aim for it to come out from the top of this head. So insert it in and I'm going to pull this out a little bit so I can see better and here we go it's coming out from the same stitch now I can take this pin out as I've already got my needle coming out from there pull this in all the way and you're going to push this in as well this will allow this ball to sit inside the wadding so let's just push it in here we are so that's disappeared from here and that will sit inside the fiber fill or the wadding and this should be secure now now from here i am going to put my needle in this section here so pull this needle up stick your needle there and now i'm going to aim to come out from this tip so tip of the nose so bring it closer so you can see it there we are. That's it. So I can now remove all of these pins and you're going to keep this thread nice and loose on the top and we're going to make sure that our needle goes through that thread and we bring it down like so. Let's pull it in now so we can create that Y shape. So now it's nice and firm we're going to stitch this end into the center right here again so put your needle through one of the stitches in the center and pull this in and that makes the nose of this or the mouth of this sheet i'm going to secure this in place and to do this i'm going to 
go around the black yarn and we're going to create a loop stick your needle through the loop and pull this right down and that will create a knot in place again and there you have it this completes your mouth so i'm going to get rid of this uh, thread to do this you're going to stick this into the center again and allow it to come out from another side of the face here we go pull it out and now i can go ahead and snip this off as well and we can just squeeze this so this allows the face to go back to a normal shape and this now is finished now we're going to grab the body and stitch these two together now we're going to join the head and the body of this sheep together and uh, I've already gone ahead and threaded my darning needle with the leftover yarn from the body and before you do this you're going to place the body down making sure the stitch that you finished with is at, facing the back like so and I'm going to squish this like so so this allows us to place the arms in perfectly in position with the head by doing this this makes the body a lot more flatter so from here you're going to grab hold of the head and position it where you want it so i would like the head to be facing down slightly so i'm going to hold this in place with one finger or thumb and i'm going to turn it around to see exactly where i need to secure the neck of the body so while holding the face in place we are going to stitch the head and the body together we are starting from the back and we are going to catch one of the stitches so over here is where the body is going to get attached and i'm going to catch one of the stitches up here like this i've just gone around one of the stitches we're going to pull this in and go through that stitch one more time to make this link stronger there we go and now i can pull this right in and even if you let go this will hold it in place now i can just go all the way around the body and the neck and stitch them together to do this each time you're going to work between your stitches um, in between your popcorn stitches so I'm going to insert the needle around this space I'm in between my popcorn stitches while holding the head in position again I'm going to go around a popcorn stitch in the head like this we're now going to pull this out and again secure this stitch in by going around the same stitch one more time this makes the link between the body and the head quite strong now as you may have noticed I just I had my loop over this popcorn stitch but I pulled it down so when it gets secured in the popcorn stitch will still be very visible and this stitch won't be so just by pulling the stitch down you're allowing the thread to sit at the bottom so I'm going to pull that now just working your way around around the next stitch holding the head in place again and we're going to get the other stitch and go around one more popcorn stitch here we go and again go through it one more time to make the link stronger and pull it down each time now still looking perfectly in position so I'm going to lift it up so we can work at the bottom of this now I'm on to the next stitch here go around the stitch and you're going to catch one of the popcorn stitches at the bottom of the neck like this go through it one more time to secure this in place it nice and tight and this is my last stitch go around it catch the bottom of the next popcorn stitch go around it one more time out and under there and pull this in 
now that allows the head to be um, wobble, allow it to wobble at the same time as have a very strong link between the head and the neck now we've made our way all the way back to the beginning where we started we're now going to insert our needle into the space where we first started and we're going to make this loop complete by going back into that same stitch now from here you're going to create a loop by inserting your needle around any of these stitches so I've just come out my thread is coming out from here and I'm simply going to insert my needle isolating a tiny little bit of yarn here and we're going to create a loop stick your needle through there and this should make a knot in place so pull this down and that should create a knot again to make this link stronger insert your needle in there and make it come out from the next popcorn stitch just here and I'm going to do the same thing again so isolate a little part of your yarn like so and we're going to make a loop with our yarn insert our needle into the loop and pull this down and that makes a knot in place once you're happy with these links I'm just going to do one more just to be 100% sure going back to the other side once you finish with the knots you're going to insert this back into that same stitch that you were just working with and allow the needle to go through the head and come out for another part of the head this will allow the thread to sit inside the fiber fill and that makes the link very strong so we can now go ahead and snip this off and that is now connected we're now going to stitch the arms and the legs onto the body as well and when you are doing this you're going to do two things to begin first of all you're going to make sure that the face is pointing downwards like this and facing you and then you're going to squish the body so the arm or the rest of the body is nice and flat and then we're going to turn the body sideways and we are going to lift the head so it's facing straight ahead like so now I've already gone ahead and threaded my um, the tail of this yarn into my darning needle and we are going to locate exactly where we're going to position this arm so we're not going to do it in the first round we're not going to do it in the second round we're going to do it between the third and second round in the space right around here now before we do this we're going to hold this down and we're going to align it with the face so we're going to make sure that the sheep is facing the right way or in the uh, straight ahead and we're going to hold the arm next to it so that this gray part is in line with the front of the arm so if i take a look at it carefully this gray part is in line with the front of the arm like this and once you know this you can let go of the head and we are going to stitch this between round three and two so to do this we are going to pull the stitches up so we can see the bottom of these stitches and we're going to catch a little bit of the bottom of each popcorn stitch one at a time to stitch this in so one stitch at a time i'm going to go through that stitch again and this time go through the arm as well so let me show it to you how to do that so this time i'm going to make sure that thread, uh, the needle comes through the arm as well and we're going to secure just one end in place first. Let's go through it one more time. Here we go. And just like this, we're going to keep moving one stitch over at a time. So we're going to go at the bottom of these stitches again, right around here. So just catching a little bit of the stitch like this and we're now going to make this go through the stitches on the arm let's do that again so that we can secure that join perfectly like this 
and this time move a slightly a one stitch over again and catch part of this popcorn stitch and then you go into the stitches on the arm again one more time in the same stitch to make the link between the arm and the body nice and strong and that's done we're now going to turn this upside down so I can secure the front as well and again catch a little bit of this stitch and then make sure it goes through the stitch on the arm as well like this and pull this down now I'm going to secure this in place and before we do that I'm going to go through the same stitch a couple of times to make the link nice and strong here we go once you've made your way across the top of this arm you're going to stick this needle in the corner turn the arm up and we're going to allow the needle to come out from the bottom of this arm we're now going to create a knot to do this you're going to isolate a tiny little stitch like this and we are going to create a loop with our yarn make the needle go through the loop and pull this down this creates a knot in place I'm going to do this one more time go around one stitch create a loop needle goes through the loop pull this down there's another knot and once you've done this you're going to insert the needle back into that same bit of yarn or the same stitch here and I'm going to allow it to go through some fiber fill and come out from another part of the body so there we go just guide it out and here it comes so I'm going to pull this out and now I can go ahead and snip this yarn like this and after once you finish you're going to squeeze the body like this so it allows it to go back to its normal shape okay so that's that done and we are now going to attach the other leg as well I'm going to show you where to position this and then you're going to follow the same method as the arm uh, to join the leg in as well now to do this you're going to count five rounds up from the bottom from here so one two three four five and we're going to secure this leg in between round five and six so in between this space so again to do this you are going to squish the body down so you can position it perfectly so while holding the squished body down you're going to put this in place and then you can pin it in place if you wish to and by doing that you will ensure that this is in line with the arm or you could just do it like this so while holding the arm in place you're going to uh, make the leg in line like this so now the arm and the leg are roughly in line and i can now follow the same method as the arm to stitch this leg in between these stitches right around here so between round five and six right here go ahead and do that and meet me back here once you finish with the legs you're going to turn the body over and we're going to squeeze the bottom and stitch this little tail directly between the legs so in the same round as the legs and we're going to stitch it right in the center and to do this you are going to stitch it just like you did with the head just making it go through one of these stitches one of these popcorn stitches at a time and we're going to make this link strong by going through the tail and the body a couple of times in the same space like so and just like this keep moving over one stitch at a time so I'm gonna go around this popcorn stitch now and we're going to stitch that down going through the same link a couple of times turn the body around with you so you can clearly see the stitches and you can catch each of the stitch all the way around and create a loop
once you've attached the tail and you're back where you started you are going to create a knot we go through a little stitch create a loop remove your needle through the loop and pull it down that creates a knot let's do this one more time and once you've got a couple of knots and you are 100 percent sure that's very nice and secure you're going to stick your needle into the same stitch and allow it to go through the body and come out from any uh, any other point of the body here we go and once it's out i'm going to just simply snip this off and squeeze the center of this body to allow it to puff up going to attach the ears now make the uh, sheep face you and you're going to attach these ears um, in line with the eyes so the top of this ear is going to be in line with the eye so like so like this so while holding in place we're going to move these two popcorn stitches out of the way so we can stitch this inside in between those stitches Once we made our way across we're going to turn the ear up and allow the needle to come from the bottom and we're going to create a knot here as well we're going to insert this into this ear and pull this out now i can snip the yarn off and we're going to follow the same instructions and attach the other ear on as well and then meet me back here. I've now attached the other ear on as well and this is what the end product looks like. If you enjoyed making this sheep with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.